I went through my teacher training in 2005 and I actually opened the studio in 2006. I got the certification and I set up my first class and the first class was very well attended and I was pretty shocked. And then shortly after, I started to get some phone calls uh, asking if I was a Christian. Uh, there were a couple of meetings in town from some of the local churches not to come to yoga. The concerns they, they had was that we might be worshiping something that we're not supposed to be worshiping. I was taken aback just a little bit. I know where I live and I know it's the Bible Belt, but it didn't really matter to me what my faith was because I wasn't touting religion. I was teaching yoga. And I'm not saying that it's not spiritually based, but it doesn't really matter what path you're on. There's not all these avenues to heaven. Either, either Jesus is right or he's not. I know that not every part of the country has the same experience with yoga and in yoga teachers as we do in the Deep South. And it might be hard for people to understand, but religion and faith are so entrenched here that any deviation can be deemed a sin. If it wasn't authorized by your grandfather or your pastor or somebody, you know, then it's wrong. And I was, I was brought up to never question anything that I was taught. You never question it. If you look over here, you're going to let that infiltrate into your mind. So it's, it's of the devil. People are very protective of their faith and they don't want to sin. And I don't ever want anybody who comes to my classes to feel like they're doing something that would be considered disrespectful to their faith. People are seeking, they're, they're looking for ways to feel more connected to themselves. What I love to see happen is people get back in touch with their spirituality. They, um, they're able to have a relationship with something greater than themselves because they've been told that they can. Not everybody gets to hone in on this, you know. A lot of people never get the opportunity or they're scared. Yeah. They're afraid of the unknown and they don't want to try something new, you know. And in this little small East Texas area that, that I've always lived in, you know. I think that there's so much variety in the world and that if we were meant to experience life exactly the same way, there wouldn't be so many differences. There wouldn't be so much variety. And I think we need to honor that and really understand that life is about variety and that your path is your path and mine is mine, but it doesn't mean that, that yours is wrong and mine is right. They can all be right. They can all be right.